guys, I'm Jamie, otherwise known as Josiah, and today I'm going to teach you how to throat sing just like that. But before we get started, I just want to encourage you two things. First of all, throat singing is a slow process, and number two, please take care of your voice and also drink a lot of water. Throat singing is something that you can't learn just overnight. It's something that you have to develop over months of time, if not even years, depending on how much you actually want to practice it. Now for me, I was able to sharpen my emphasis on throat singing after about a year of solid practice, and honestly, I've been very happy with it ever since. But depending on who you are and how much you're practicing and your genetics and all those kinds of things that apply to the situation it may take longer or shorter depending so anyways let's get into this so what you want to do is you kind of want to cough or more so clear your throat and when you clear your throat you'll notice that what happens is you're not talking with your voice like your vocal cords are going but it's it's lower than that it's deeper than that so it's not a <sighs> It's a, uh, right? You start to get this rasp going on. Uh, and you, you hear that? That's, that's not just my, my regular vocal cords. There's something deeper going on. And so that's the beginning of finding your throat singing voice. The other tip I want to explain is that the range that you want to uh, th find your throat singing voice in is actually very close to your talking voice. If you go too high, you won't be able to do it. If you go too low, you won't be able to do it. So you really want to kind of just wherever you're talking, wherever is comfortable, relax. Where do you talk? Okay. So like right here, this is about where I talk, right? Just right here. And you start getting that grasp, right? That rasp. That's exactly what you want to try to hold on to as much as you can and learn how to, uh, and so you want to learn how to just hold those muscles right there so that you can really project that, ah, right? Ah, 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 right? And so literally from there on, you start to, ah, ah, you start to hold on and you start to learn how to reposition your throat to, to, to sound more and more like throat singing until you're actually doing the results that you want to do. So that is honestly how I learned how to throat sing. So that's how you learn how to throat sing over time. Like I said, you won't get this in five minutes. As a matter of fact, you really want to only practice for about five minutes your first time because by that time, your voice, chances are, is going to be so sore and you're going to want to stop and you're going to want to let your voice really fully recover. For me, in my genetics, it took me about three solid days for my voice to recover. And then my voice was normal. I didn't have any sore. I didn't have any like like uh, voice cracking or anything. And I was able to practice it again. And this time for probably not five minutes maybe it was a little longer maybe it was seven minutes maybe it was ten minutes but you will slowly build up the durability of your voice to be able to speak in that manner so if you just keep practicing you will notice uh in a couple of weeks i know i actually have a video on my instagram where i was uh throat singing for like two or three weeks and just after that time i was able to hold down a <laughs> You know, I was still coughing a little bit, but I was actually able to practice this for, you know, maybe 10 minutes a day, maybe 20 minutes a day, you know, and my voice just kept getting slowly more and more. I would say it took a few months for me to actually uh, get comfortable with throat singing. For me to be able to throat sing out in public to, to perform, it took me about seven months to get that quality of throat singing. And for me to actually get a sharpened, durable, you know, really good throat singing voice, it took me about a solid year. So I, so I would encourage you to keep doing this and be, be slow and patient, but practice this throat singing technique for about a solid year before you expect to get any really solid results. So for the first couple of years that I was practicing throat singing, I was really obsessed with learning the Tuvan Monk techniques. But after that, I honestly started to not go so much into that. So what you're hearing from me isn't really any strict Tuvan Monk technique. Yes, there are influences in it, but honestly, I feel so far detached from like Mongolian throat singing on, in regards to the strict techniques that I really can't say anything much more about it. So what I'm showing you is just what I enjoy to do and have fun with over time. There's so many other techniques with this kind of throat singing you know um after those first couple of years i went away from tube and monk throat singing and i actually started learning how to beatbox so for the last three or so years i've been wanting to do more beatboxing rather than just straight up mongolian throat singing so i've just kind of moved on <laughs> So the last thing I want to say is something that I don't have any medical proof on. I don't have any support for any of this. And 
Um, this is just my opinion. This is just my testimony on what throat singing has done. But I found throat singing to really help my singing voice improve dramatically. If I do no other warm up and I just throat sing for a few minutes, I notice that my voice is way more clear. My pitch is a lot more solid and my, my control from one pitch to another is way more solid. My voice just sounds a lot more presentable out of nowhere and I am so thankful that I have throat singing because I go to it all the time even if I just get one or two minutes of throat singing if I get five or ten minutes of throat singing I mean my voice seems to feel as warm as, as it possibly could because it seems that throat singing what it does is like when you're vibrating this part of your voice it's it's almost like massaging or and also relaxing the muscles around your neck and your throat and even in your chest everything's shaking so it kind of just feels like it's warming everything up and things just feel more all of a sudden snappy and fluent and I could just really control my singing voice out of nowhere once I just throat sing for just a few minutes. Like I said, I have no proof on that. I have no support from anyone or any source saying that it's actually good for my voice. I just know personally, I feel like throat singing has overall made my voice more durable. I feel like I will have a better voice because of it. And so I must admit, you know, that's, that's nothing scientific. I am 26 years old. I have been throat singing for for six years so who knows what it's gonna do to my voice 30 years from now I have no idea so yeah that's really all I have to say about throat singing it's really fun it's different it's something that not many people do or even know about it always gives crazy reactions you would be surprised at how many musicians just would love to incorporate your throat singing in their music once they find out that you can do that if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button and I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube I am Sideshow Josiah and I will see you next time God bless you